afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Oakland A's and the Seattle Mariners. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Marco Gonzalez is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Stepping into the box, Marcus Semyon. And we are ready for some Leading daytime the baseball. For Oakland, the shortstop, Marcus. First pitch on its way. Well thrown sinker that time down but in the strike zone. A good pitch there on 0 and 1 as this is hit fouled over to the right side strike two now. A bouncer to the left side there is Seeger throws in time and that's out number one. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Dero daytime road game for him. What you got. Well, Matty, we know this is a pitcher's park. The numbers bear it out. Look for the managers to play a part in this one. Hopefully the guys listened in the hitters meeting. They're going to stay up the middle, big part of the yard. But when they get on, look for some wheels in motion, some execution, trying to manufacture some runs. I think that's how this lineup will play it out. That is her. Digging in, pitch. Matt Olson. Matt. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attack. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Sean Manaya, a lefty from Indiana, is on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. At the plate, D. Gordon. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Mariners, now the pitch. The second baseman, D. Boy, not the way he wanted to start out here. It's 0-1. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. After that slider away, he must have set his sights out there because he took that fastball in like he had no chance. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Piscotti's there for it, and that's the first out of the inning. With a moment here in Seattle, a look at the Mariners' starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, I'm going to be watching for the speedster, D. Gordon. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit in clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. Now a check swing here, but the home plate umpire says he went around and no argument, and it's one and one. His career numbers against Manaya, just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Two and one to count. Pitch on the way. To two and two now. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Mariner center fielder now with a full count. Three balls and two strikes. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And he'll pull into second with one away. Not really much the pitcher can do about that one. He put the ball down in the zone where he wanted it, but it was just a solid piece of hitting. Goes down and gets it and pulls it into the corner for extra bases. Yeah, as you know, Dan, sometimes the hitter just wins. Kyle Seeger is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. On its way, the 0-1 pitch pulled toward right center field. Catch made out there in right center as the runner will tag from second. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right. So he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. 
the first baseman. Coming to the plate now, Evan White. Runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set. Here it comes. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Popped up. Pinder has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for Seattle, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. So now it's Mark Canna. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. All right, guys, here's Seattle's defensive alignment. And I'm going to focus on J.P. Crawford right now. He is one of the slickest defenders in the game. Real smooth going to his left and right, and he has a bazooka for an arm. Sent on the ground out to second. In time to first, and there are two away. That is good. Into the box, Ramon Laureano. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. You know, he's a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the A's. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Last half of the second set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Tom Murphy. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. And he fouls this one off. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. A ball and a strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And now pitch on the way. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. J.P. Crawford is in with two away as he takes a ball, one and oh. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Two out, nobody on. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. Jose Marmolejos is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Comes set. 
the 0 1. Marmolejos doesn't usually enjoy left handed pitching like this as much as he does at bats against right handers. I'm not sure if it's a comfort thing or if he just sees the ball better coming from the right side, but that's the book on him at this point in his career. One and two, here it is. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three, and the inning is over. And that brings up Chad Pinder. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys yeah. in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So stepping in, Stephen Piscotti. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 and 1 count, and the pitch. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. At the plate, Sean Murphy. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Swing and a liner, but foul. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. A's are gone in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Next for Seattle, Shed Long, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The right field. First pitch of the at bat. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2 0. Oh. Now the pitch. Just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around and it's even now at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And it's fouled away. The next three two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Piscotti is camped under this one. One gone. Now back. Digging in for his second at bat. D. Gordon. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Striding into the box, Kyle Lewis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Over the bullpen and gone. A solo shot here to left as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. The third baseman. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
Nope. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one, one and one. one. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive, not being very aggressive right now. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the base. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. But the Mariners draw first blood here on the solo home run. We played three full. It's one nothing Seattle. Back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as the Cal Berkeley product Marcus Simeon is the first to bat in the inning. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now that from the stretch. Matt Chapman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And a sinker's in there for a called strike, and he forges ahead, nothing in two. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The M's lead it one to nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Huddy. Boy, Dero, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes, desperate times, call for desperate measures. Tom Murphy will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And there's ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The second for one. Relay to Olsen and they turn the double play. Stepping in, Dylan Moore comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball a one. ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Hit in the air to center field. Loriano is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Mariners go down quietly there, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the A's hitters to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Mark Canna goes down for the first out in the fifth inning. Chris Davis will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. 0-2, oh here it comes. Hit out toward second. Gordon is there. And there are two away now. Digging in now, Ramon Laureano looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 0 and 1, here it comes. Right there, and it's quickly 0 and 2 now. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. 
You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One, two, three. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping up is the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Now here's the pitch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Heading out towards shallow right. Piscotti's there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now battle. In now the Mariners DH, Jose Marmolejos. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Fouled off. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Grounded to the right. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The right fielder. So digging four. in now, Shed Long. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Swing and a miss, one and one. Fastball called strike, one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Mariners are down in order, but they're on top one to nothing. Leading off the inning, Chad Pinder, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. In there, and he's ahead 0 2 now. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. Weak grounder down the line at third. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. So we got him swinging. Chad Pinder goes down to become the first now, out in the sixth right inning. He's set and the pitch. Steven Piscotti stands in as he looks at a called strike. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. A's still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game. High in the air out to center field. Lewis waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now battle. Next up for the A's, Sean Murphy. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 0-1, here's the pitch. Chopped to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. They trail this one, one to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, D. Gordon. Second baseman, D. First pitch on its way. Line toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Around second now and headed for third. And he is in at third base, and the Mariners are off and running a leadoff triple. Now back. Kyle Lewis will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. The 1-0. -oh. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center.
He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. I guess that's what you call a one-man game. Blasted a home run earlier in the game and gets the double this time around. If he can get a little help from his friends, they could do some serious damage. First offering on its way. Kyle Seeger started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And we see some action in the A's bullpen now. It's both a left-hander and a righty that start to loosen up. There's a shot out to right center field. Pack on another here as the runner scores from second. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Here comes Bob Melvin now out of the Oakland dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. J.B. Wendelkin takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 57, J.B. Wendelkin. Into the box, Evan White popped him up. Murphy is there. One away. The catcher, number two. Ready for another Come shot on. now. Tom Murphy. He struck out and bounced into a double play in his first two at bats. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Oh and one delivery. Ball one. I got a ball one strike. Fouled away. Wendelkin has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Dylan Moore is on deck. Here's the 3-2. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Stepping up now, Dylan Moore. He flew out in his last oh. at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. The 1-0 home hit the other way out toward right field. Heading after it is Piscotti. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll go ahead and take third on the fly ball to right, so he's 90 feet away now with two men gone. Ready once again, J.P. Crawford. A hit in two tries for him so far. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, I don't have a problem with him taking a pitch right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounding the strike zone. Hit softly down the line at first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We're through six full. Seattle leads this one three to nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Marcus Simeon. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Here's the 0-2, and he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. 
A ball and two strikes. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Pretty impressive back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. What's even more important is now he gets to face the middle of the order without anybody on base for them to drive in. Matt Olson is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. He's one pitch away from striking out the side, but even more. This is well struck, high and deep toward the left field corner. And that's off the left field wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Ah, so he was able to take it into the seventh, but the no-hit bid is going to end here with two out in inning number seven. Boy, and Matty, this is when you start really thinking about a no-hitter once you get into the seven. And it's hard not to look past getting through that last out. But Dero, it just wasn't meant to be here with two outs in the seven. No, he's pitched a heck of a game without question. You can't deny that. But this offense is going to stay on the attack. We'll see if this manager turns it over to the bullpen or allows this guy to finish it on his own. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. One left for Oakland. They trail it here three to nothing. TJ McFarland gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and striding forward the designated hitter, Jose Marmolejos. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Simeon with a great slide. It's in time. The right fielder, number four. Now at the plate, Shed Long. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Maybe getting a little jumpy in the box, so he steps out and asks for time. Braden Bishop will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Bishop, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. This is his first year at the big league level. Think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a called strike two. The short hit hard. Simeon's got it. And the throw gets him at first on his final play in the hole as you're ever likely to see. Two away now. Number nine. Second baseman. Trying to pick things up where we left off. D. Gordon. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one. A 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strike. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Rounded softly down the line toward first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And now pitch on the way. Popped up. Chapman is under it. And the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They lead it three to nothing. <laughs> Braden Bishop will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Now playing right field. 
ready to begin the eighth. And that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis. Jason Bradford has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. First pitch on its way. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at bat. It's ball one. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Crawford has it. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Digging in to try it again. Chad Pinder. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. One pitch away from wrapping. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three go the A's. Still down, three nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. Please. New pitcher coming on now, the right hander Yusmero Petit. Number 36. Stepping into the box, Kyle Lewis. Trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. Oh, and he goes the other way and he drives it out to deep right center field. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot to right center. His second home run of the game as the Mariners have opened up a 4 to nothing lead. Well, he turns on this thing and drives it out, extending the lead here to 4 in the bottom of the 8th. I wouldn't be surprised if that keeps the closer in the bullpen for now. No need to bring him in a non-save situation. Let him relax now unless something happens at the top of the ninth that warrants getting him up. To the plate now, Kyle Seager. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Petit, a Venezuelan-born ball player. This is his 12th season in the big league, so he's put together a really nice career to this point. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Four runs, eight hits, and no errors in the game for the Mariners to this point. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. When I see guys check swinging, they're, they're not seeing the baseball. They're not picking it up. you got to take a step back. The only thing you tell yourself in this situation is do not move your head. He froze him on the fastball there. Kyle Seeger is dealt with the for the first thing. out the in the bottom of the inning. Ever. So here's the cleanup hitter, Evan White. He's working on a one for three thus far. One ball, no strikes the count. Weak grounder down the first baseline. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Nope. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. One out, nobody on. Changeup taken for ball three, well below the zone. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. And that'll bring in Tom Murphy. It was a walk in his last trip. First pitch coming, here it is. 
Check swing called strike 0 and 1. This one's down to third. Chapman's got it. Rwanda Olson will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. But the Mariners add to their lead thanks to the solo home run. Last chance coming up for Oakland. It's 4 0 Seattle. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Stephen Piscotti. Brendan Brennan comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Brendan. He's set. Here it comes. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. And he fouls this one off. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he's set down for the first out. Now that first pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Striding in for Oakland, Marcus Simeon. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Comes set and the 0 1. Now this crowd of 36,000 plus come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Four nothing the score this afternoon. The M's led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Marco Gonzalez gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. First was the victorious Seattle Mariners. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Athletics, no runs, just one hit. No errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and 35 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.